Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dan Geesling. It's been a while since I shot one of these videos, but since Minecraft is ending this week, there are two episodes left. Episode 274 and 275 coming out tomorrow and Thursday. I wanted to first off thank you guys so much for watching and, and kind of extending this hobby of mine. It's a lot of fun. I love interacting with you guys and playing games and, and uh, really had a lot of fun with this. So thank you. And the other thing is I wanted to have you guys select the next playthrough because you know we've got to re replace minecraft or we're going to replace minecraft and some of you guys may say hey dan i don't understand why you're getting rid of minecraft and if you don't know watch the last two episodes because i explain it in there but a couple things that were important um that you know i thought about well why did we have so much fun with minecraft and and it really wasn't about the game so much as what the game like allowed us to do. And number one, the game was explorative. So it wasn't like a beginning and end like the Grand Theft Auto 5 series that I have on the channel or Bioshock or Dark Souls 2 where there's a set beginning and end. It's very open-ended and explorative. The other thing is that there's room for us to create our own story for random things that will happen that kind of make the playthrough our own. You know, there's things that popped up. Uh, throughout the playthrough that just made it a lot of fun and and you know there's certain things you could say or type in in the comments or talk about um, you know one of the, the rare live episodes that everyone knew about and just because it was so random and rare so those were the kind of the elements that I wanted to have in these games so here's how it's going to work for to have you guys help vote on the next game I've selected three games that I thought all had those qualities or open-ended explorative and had room for us to create a story and based on those three you guys are going to help, you're going to vote and whittle it down to two. And before I get into the next part of how the voting is going to work, I want to show you guys and tell you guys why I select these games. So there's a couple trailers. So let's go ahead and check out the first game. The first game I picked is Don't Starve. And Don't Starve is another survival game. It's all about not starving. So you have to f find a way to craft, survive, avoid enemies, um, you know, create a farm, create food source, but basically the whole game is just seeing how many days you can survive. There's a story element to it, meaning that I know there's like a, uh, a, a lo loose storyline, but basically it's just how long can we survive. There's multiple characters, there's a lot of different things to do within the game. As you guys can see, it has a Tim Burton-esque art style, like from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I've played it a little bit before, i probably played a small handful of hours, it's a lot of fun, and has a lot of the crafting and survival elements that uh, you know I think would be fun to continue on in a series. So that's the first game in Don't Starve. The second game I would have never found out about if it wasn't for one of my favorite YouTube channels, which is Mathis Games, and his kind of flagship game is uh, this game right here, which is our second candidate for the next series on the channel. And this game is called Project Zomboid. Project Zomboid is essentially all about surviving in a land infested with zombies. As you can see, this is how the game looks. It's an isometric uh, viewpoint. You can zoom in and out, but it's a lot of scavenging, crafting, putting things together, a lot of exploring. Um, I've played a handful of hours of this with one of my friends. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely a little more hardcore. And as you're about to see here, it's, it's uh, it, you know, it's a little bit more hardcore and gory, not for the kids, but it's all about how we play it. And, you know, we keep things clean on the channel, but this is one of the things I haven't had a chance to do in the game. I haven't had a chance to actually build anything. I think it's going to be, it'll be a really fun and interesting playthrough. You can farm. So basically, this is all about surviving the zombie apocalypse. And I think it'll be a cool series. You know, I know there are some fans of The Walking Dead uh, on this channel, myself included. And I think this is kind of takes the elements of you know, the uh, Minecraft in terms of surviving and crafting and kind of puts it in the Walking Dead world. So those are the first two games are Don't Starve and Project Zomboid. And the third game you have to vote on is actually a game that has been on the channel before and we just never really finished it and it never really, I never really carved out time to make it a full-time thing on the channel. So the third game is a return to The Binding of Isaac. And if you've never seen this, um, there's an overall goal to get to 100% achievements on Steam. If you don't know what that means, it's like getting all the trophies or getting all the gamer scores. But essentially what this game is, it's a top-down, twisted, original Legend of Zelda for the original Nintendo. Now, you guys may say, hey, Dan, this doesn't look like, you know, crafting or survival. But the th interesting thing about this game is that it's different every single time you play it. There's multiple characters. The levels each time you play it are different. 
um, very different items and weapon, you know, which change your, your weapons or your tiers each time. It's a fun playthrough. So you might say, well, Dan, well, how's the series going to work? I would post one every single day, just like, you know, just like a Minecraft and just like a, a Project Zomboid. Whatever that series is, it's going to replace. It's going to be posted daily. Um, and this also gives us a chance to kind of make this a more open-ended discussion, you know, talking about random things. And, you know, I kind of looked at this as kind of like a mini podcast. Um also while playing a game so those are the three games don't starve project zomboid and the binding of isaac now what you guys the next step is for you guys is you can go to dangeesling.com slash next to cast your vote i mean it's the link is in the description below and whichever two are the highest vote getters i'm going to start a a two mini two series on monday so there's going to be two episode one release on monday and um, we're going to do that through Wednesday. So it'll be episodes 1, 2, and 3 of Game 1, episodes 1, 2, and 3 of Game 2. And based on the views, comments, and likes that each series gets, gets eventually, on Thursday, I'm going to pick one of those to continue based on your response to them. So the next step is to go to dangeesling.com slash next. Vote for your favorite game of the three that you would like to see replace or take over the every single day slot on the channel and that will be announced on Monday when you see the two games pop up. So you have until like Sunday night to vote. And then um, I think it's going to be fun because I didn't want to make this decision by myself. Essentially, uh, the it's survival the fittest. Whichever game you guys want to see is going to be the one that ends up um, being uh, replacing Minecraft. So thank you guys so much for watching. And you may want to stay tuned to the channel on Friday because – a series may be popping up that is unrelated to this competition that I think you guys are going to be happy with. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to vote. Click the link in the descriptions. See you guys soon.